come back with another self-defense weapon review. So today I'm here at the beach getting ready to do a review of this Azand 23 inch collapsible spring police baton that I purchased from swords swords.com that's right you heard it right double swords.com $13.99 so quick thing about the baton is an effective and low-cost defense solution bands are easy to conceal and hide safer to carry than a gun and definitely cheaper can easily defeat a knife or brass knuckle wielding attacker and allows you to keep the distance during a confrontation so my I'm just 5'7 you know I don't have to reach advantage most of my attackers or opponents are gonna be taller than me with a longer reach so before we put this into action this is the ultimate weapon for protection made from spraying and can flex really good so the measure when it's closed total length of this is about 9.25 inches 4.25 inches from the handle which is solid rubber with grooves on there and let's check out where the 23 inches comes into play with a thick flick of the wrist you have 23 inches of self-protection right there at the end is the spring steel and it also have has a window breaking steel tip There you see the steel window breaking tip in conical shape made of hard steel. So imagine yourself applying all that force when it's closed and then you puncture the window. Too bad I don't have a, a glass ready to break for sample. And it will definitely break that car window. And the purpose of that is a life saving tool the band can be used to quickly breach car windows in case of accident, fire, or flood. All right, enough talk. Let's put this to good use. Open, close. If you just want to close it, you can either hit it against the ground or even against your hand like that, your open palm. It's got a real nice grip to it with grooves, grooves built in. And I'm pretty sure this is made in China. Here's what the end looks like. Once again, like that. So this part is the rigid part. That's the one that's about 9.25 inches. Here is the flexible spring part. There's a thicker coil right there, solid coil. There is a thinner coil, a steel window breaking tip. When you strike somebody, I like to hit the overhand because if they try to block it, it's going to hit them against the shoulder or the back of the head. So you can either swing it in an upward motion, sideways motion. I know it's a little bit crook crooked right there, but I've had it for a while. Now let's test it out on, on a tree trunk. All right, here we go. I'm going to test it out on this dead tree trunk right there. If you want to close it, just like that. So the main reason why I'm reviewing this self-defense weapon is because you never know when you need access to a self-defense weapon. For example, like you're at the beach, such as I am right here, or you're hiking alone or camping alone. Sometimes it's not convenient to carry a weapon or it's legal to, depending on what type of state park you're at or campground. And this is easy to conceal and easy to hide. What I like to do is put it in the front of my backpack when I go hiking. On my backpack, it has a little pocket right there where I can just slide it in. 
So as you can see, it sticks out a little bit, but people would not know what it is. They would think it's a flashlight. Sure, I have martial arts experience. I've taken Taekwondo, Karate, and now I'm taking Japanese Jiu Jitsu. But who knows, sometimes you just might need that extra advantage against multiple assailants or experienced attackers. And make sure you, this is legal in your states before you attempt to purchase it. You just never know when you have to use it. It could be against a walker, some crazy guy, Aquaman, Pikachu, anything you think of, all right? So on a scale 100%, I do highly recommend this self-defense weapon. It's very affordable. So it's on a scale of one to five stars, I recommend this self-defense weapon. I'll give it five stars all day, every day. So help protect yourselves.